Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and uh, yeah so what we got in front of you here is a photograph from 1950 um, social station and we're looking across to platform 2 um, a couple of things I want to talk about with this photograph is um, when I start when I uh, originally started building South Shield Station um, photographs of Platform Two were very rare indeed, and that just confirms that that is an office on the far side, and which is what we have in the model. So it's nice to have a photograph confirming what you've done. Um, is correct now second thing that's interesting is this coach uh, here um, whether it's an inspector's coach or something like that um, and it's just coupled up to an engine by itself if I just move my fingers out of the way you can see it's just coupled up to an engine maybe it's an inspector's car or something like that but the other interesting feature is the two I don't know what they are there it's one on that reel on that reel, I don't know if that's measuring. It doesn't measure the, the the length of the track, or it must pick up something from the track. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can elaborate more uh, about this coach in the comments. So yeah, it's an interesting photograph. And this is where we finished off last week with these uh, four walls with the doors and windows in. Um, some of you did spot the mistake that I'd made. Um, if I turn this round, there it is. That is a new wall because what I did last week was I put a small wall on the end, uh, which is totally wrong because we need an apex wall because the roof continues. So, luckily for me, I did not glue all the parts together and uh, I managed to make up a new wall and this is the replacement and I've also decided to make the window that goes here slightly smaller so it gives us that little bit more room to put the lift in situ um, there's been a little lots of talk about the um, drinks fountain now I've looked on the internet and most stations had drinks found that came in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Some were on pedestals, some were on walls, uh, some of them were just a basin and uh, fairly, fairly basic. And some just had a tap. <laughs> um, so to see this type of um, drinks fountain on, on, on stations' walls is quite unique and um, there's even one on the South Shields build if you remember that I put one on that because there was one in the photograph and that was totally different again that wasn't fitted into the wall that was a panel type which was um, screwed to the wall so there we go so this is where we are we're going to see how far we can get with this this week because today is Sunday afternoon so I've started really late this week um, because well the weather's getting better and we're going out more and so we'll see how far we can get this week. Right so now we're going to concentrate on the gents. It's a small building um, you can see once you put the walls together it's such a tiny little building so like so. So it's, it's not very big it measures 50 by 70 but it's enough to, to get a set of urinals in there and some lavatory so yeah that's what we're going to be concentrating on next so i've marked out for the doors and the windows so it's just a case of doing what we've done many times before is cut out the card and then put the brick on while we're waiting for the medcalf sheet to dry on this on these card pieces i thought we'd have a look at this building so as you can see I've glued the lift onto the side and I've drilled some holes ready 
to take uh, the cables when they go through to each every area that we're going to add. So the next thing I want to do here is add some RSJs which I'll just glue on the top of there on the top of these frameworks and uh, that will then support the brickwork and that will bring it up to the height of this wall here and then we can once this wall is cut uh, then we can glue these gents onto the side of it um, so yeah so we're moving on uh, this end as you can see uh, we've glued the supporting stones ready for the beams going across that way to link up to the other building so we're doing little bits at the moment until this lot is dried before I get carried away doing all the assembly of the building uh, might as well do some of the internal stuff first like the glazing because uh, once all the walls go up on the inside of the building there won't be a lot of finger room so I might as well start doing the glazing now so I measured the windows and they're 14 millimeters so I'm cutting the glaze up to 13 millimeters which gives it that little bit of wiggle room so I'm cutting it in 13 mil strips and then I'm going to cut it the glazing down to suit the windows and I'm just using this old packaging uh, that was left over from the signals very handy for doing this sort of thing so as you can see that's going to fit in there lovely and uh, all I've got to do is just cut a radius around there and then glue these in to the windows that's already fit to the buildings now I could have done this um, at the start um, but the chances are I would have got super glue on this and uh, I would have ended up with some frosting and uh, we don't want that on our windows so let's have a quick look at the gents building um, which is now fully glazed um, the clear glazing on the front on the door there um, I use some glue and glaze just to go around the edges inside uh, not necessarily on the glaze itself but just around the edges and that helps hold it in place as for the other windows uh, that's what I call frosted windows um, just use a little bit of sandpaper 320 the finest grit you've got and just rub the glazing um, in both directions and you get the, the uh, frosted look so that's the gents building um, glazed the next thing I'm going to do with the gents is to add a floor um, so I've already scribed this one millimeter card as you can see they're roughly uh, three inch tiles which is roughly a millimetre um, squares I'm going to paint that in this matte uh, rustic red 37 and then once the paint is dry I'm going to go over with some semi gloss to give it a little bit of a sheen um, the other thing I've done is I've added this skirting board which goes all the way around the uh, lower walls if you like with a millimeter lips that's for the card to drop in there after it's been painted and then I've just got to work out what I can get inside this building in the way of detail I have now glued the tiled floor into the gents and as you can see I have decorated the gents out with some white tiles uh, along the border of the floor and some green tiles and then uh, a white mat to, to finish so now we need to fit this out with some utilities as it were and in front of us here we've got a few bits of card which I'm going to turn into a set of urinals um, so I've got old matey boy here, I measured the height of him come down to roughly about chest, his chest height so 
what I'm going to do is glue these pieces together to form the urinals. Now, the space inside the gents is not very big, as you can imagine, 63 by 45. So what I've done is I've split that into two, two parts, as you were. So I'm going to have one half which will fit this urinals just about, and then the other half will fit a couple of uh, cubicles. So, first things first, as you can see, this piece of paper here is for the backing for the urinals. And then we'll just put a little bit of glue on here, glue the card to this piece of paper. So, and then we shall fold the lower half like so, and that gives us the height that we want for the urinals. And then we shall glue this piece of card in here, but we need to create at least uh, a two millimeter gap in there for the gully. For the uh, yeah, for the gully. So we need to cut that back a little bit, but we can do that afterwards. And for the sides, we'll just glue these sides on like so. And then we'll trim that piece of paper off later. So glued together, we should end up with something like this. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to add a couple of partitions. So I've equaled the space into three parts. And then with a little bit of glue, that will do. Now we're going to make the system. Um, so I've stuck two pieces of 2mm card together. I've measured in 8mm and I've measured in 6mm. As you can see I've cut the corners off roughly 3mm uh, three, three by 2mm. And what we'll do now, we'll just carve this system out of this piece of card. But I'm not going to cut all the way through the card just yet. So I'm going to put a slight chamfer on the front and it's easier to do it while it's all in together. So yeah, so I've put a little chamfer there. Now I can cut the system completely away from the card. do next is we'll add some copper piping so we can flush out the urinals. Before I show you the pipe work I thought I'd show you what I've done to the cistern. Um, I stuck some super glue on the base of the cistern here and then drilled a hole in it. Uh, that's to take the copper pipes and um, here is the copper pipes. I've divided it into three ways so just look at it closely there you go it's divided into three and that will then be glued into there like that and then once the lower half of the urinal has been painted that will just be then super glued onto there like that to form up the hole System. And here we have the finished um, item. 
as it were and uh, with the copper pipe work in place it does look like a set of urinals. The only thing I have had is a little tiny piece of paper on the top to cover the joint of the card. You can see the joint at the side of the card but um, I won't worry too much about that. So there we are, a set of urinals for the gents. What I'm doing now is I'm making up a set of sinks. I'm putting two um, wash basins into the gents and uh, you've got a tiled wall there and if you look closely you'll see two little tiny holes above the sink as it were. If I hold it like that you'll see what I mean. And um, the reason why there's holes there is I'm going to make some taps, some little tiny taps. So I've drilled a one mil hole into this piece of plywood and I've bent a little bit of copper uh, into a 90 degree angle as you can see there and I've placed that into the hole and then just soldered another piece of copper wire across the top so that's ready to be trimmed down to size and uh, once that's cut down to size and here's one that I've made earlier and here is a little tiny tap and then we'll glue that over the basin and uh, I'll just quickly show you because I'm not going to glue this in just yet because uh, it's not the background's not painted and there it is so you've got a tap over the sink as it were It'll look a lot better when it's when the background is painted. For the paint to dry um, on the tiles above these sinks, I uh, thought I'd just uh, quickly glue in these urinals. As you can see, I've stained them up a little bit because they're not always squeaky clean in the gents. So that's them in. Now, so the next thing to do is to build the two cubicles out go there. Um, all I'll do is just fold up some card and paint it and then just stick it in to give the impression that there is cubicles in there. With a few pieces of card I've made up these cubicles. Uh, there's only two and that's all I've got room for um, which will go alongside the urinals. Um, yeah they're fairly, fairly basic so I've just used uh, enamel brown gloss and uh, burgundy for the doors. I've just got to add two little dots of silver paint on there for the handles and then they can be glued in along with the sinks and taps. And as you see I've added a couple of mirrors on there as well. So I think that brings the gents to a close. And here we are. We've glued all of those little bits and pieces into the gents now, the new urinals, the cubicles and also the wash basins and taps and mirrors. So as you can see I've marked some lines on the wall and that's going to be for the supporting cards for the ceiling and obviously I will put uh, an LED in there but <laughs> As I've said many times before, we probably won't see the detail unless we go through the window there above the door. And that just kind of gives you a little glimpse of what's in the gents. And little by little, it's slowly coming together, a little piece at a time. There's still a little bit more left to do regarding the gents. Um, and that's to fit the ceiling and put in the LEDs. But I'll do all the LEDs once all the other rooms are complete. The lift area, the porters, little office and the refreshments room. And on that note, 
I think that's all from me. Thanks again for watching.